thank you, Christian, for the introduction. So I'm going to follow with a brief presentation of Symbio. So at Symbio, we make fuel cell systems for a wide range of vehicles, coming from light vehicles towards heavy-duty commercial vehicles. So today, I'm going to focus about system architecture and especially the optimization of the hydrogen recirculation loop. So here's the agenda of today's presentation. I'm going to start off with a bit of context in order to understand the perimeter of the study. Then I will explain how we modeled our fuel cell system, and we, I will dive into detail for two critical components. And finally, I will explore some architecture optimization of, on the hydrogen loop. So today, fuel cells face two major challenges that are durability and efficiency. And for both of these points, we have targets that are given from the US Department of Energy. So the long-term target for 2050 is a peak efficiency of 72%, so this is an overall efficiency, and a durability of 30,000 hours. As an indication, today at Symbio, we sell fuel cell systems for heavy-duty applications with a durability of 20,000 hours. To reach these targets, the system is critical, and especially the hydrogen recirculation loop, because it has to provide first enough gas, meaning enough hydrogen in all the flow fields, all the cells, all the channels, and enough water to ensure water management. Also, it has to sustain the operating conditions that we define, so they are optimized to get the best performance and the best efficiency. And finally, the system has to do, to do all of that while being compact, efficient, and lightweight.